Hello, everyone, and welcome Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with New Eagles linebacker Corey Nelson. Let's get a chance to meet Corey here on a one-year deal. Congratulations. Welcome. Uh, what do you know about Philadelphia? Cheesesteaks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always says that. <laughs> yeah. Can you get a good cheesesteak anywhere else? Have you ever ordered a cheesesteak out there in the, wor in the world? Yeah, but I heard it's not like full yeah, cheesesteak. It's steak. the bread. It's the cheese the way it melts in. But, you know, you weigh, what, 236 now? Yeah. You'd be about 250 by <laughs> the middle of April. <laughs> what was free agency like for you? Oh, uh, man, it was it was stressful. You know, it was crazy. Yeah. You know, I, I saw that a lot of teams uh, saw interest in me that I didn't know, and um, that was exciting. Uh, but it was a wonderful experience, you know, to be able to, to, to go into free agency as, as someone that that someone wants you. Yeah. Is it, is it like at all high school, the college, the recruiting? Very similar. Yeah. It's crazy that you say that. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar. I had that same type of feeling. Yeah. Well, good. Well, welcome here. Well, I'm glad you're here then. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, you. I wonder, though, Corey, for you, it, it seemed as I read up on you, your t career in Denver four years, that they were really expecting big things from you last season, and then you had the injury. I wonder what it was like for you to, to go through that from a mental standpoint and from a physical standpoint. Mental standpoint, man, it was tough. You know, it was, it was so hard. It took me about three months to to fully, you know, accept that, that it happened and mm -hmm. that I, you know, I had to move on. Or biceps too, I mean. Yeah, a bicep, yeah, yeah. like something weird like that, you know, yeah. something, a freak How'd accident. How'd you do it? Um, I was actually trying to tackle in practice. We were doing nine on seven, full pads, and I was trying to tackle the running back, and my arm got caught between the running back and the full back, and uh, another, the other linebacker came around, and my arm got caught between them and hyperextended, okay. and it yeah. just popped. Did you know it? Yeah, I knew, yeah, I knew right then and there, yeah, that something was can't, off. Can you just tape that up? Nah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's not something you could just tape. <laughs> how, was, how were things going in Denver for the four years you were there? How much better a player do you think you became in those four years? Oh, man, it was like night and day. Yeah. Yeah, when I first got there, I didn't really know the plays like that. I couldn't study the play, but I couldn't learn. Um, but my second year, it, it flowed like water, and each year I progressed and got better and better. And, um, yeah, man, I... I definitely got better throughout the years there, and I'm honored, you know, to be able to to say that they, they taught me so much. It's interesting, Corey, seventh round draft pick who makes it, and there are so many first, second, third, fourth round picks who do not make it in this league. What do you think separates what you did and what other guys who have not made it did? Uh, you know, I think there'd be a number of things. Uh, but from my from my perspective, in my opinion, I would say you know complacency could be one of them. You know, not being as motivated. I mean, you know, they come in making millions. They have it already, mm -hmm. you know, um, and they feel like they're the man. You know, you come in as a top dog. Uh, so I would say complacency for sure. And, um, you know, dedication, you know, um, dedication with your work ethic, you know, how you portray yourself all both on and off the field, how you carry yourself both on and off the field uh, plays a part as well. What do you think your role will be? Do you have any sense at all what the coaches have in mind for you? I do not. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do not. I do not. Uh, I'm excited, though. You know, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to work. I know they're going to put me somewhere uh, within their system, within their scheme, and whatever it is, I'm just really, I'm ready to give 110%. Weak side is your preference. Middle is your preference. We got Nigel at the strong side, so I don't think that's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, not yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, weak side. Yeah. You know, um, I, I played weak side when I was in college, and that was my strong suit. You know, I did very well covering tight ends, running backs. I'm out the backfield, so I would say weak side. Special teams has been a big part of your game, too. The mentality from players who are stars in high school, stars in college, you got to come into the NFL and you got to suck it up and be tough and play special teams. That was never a problem for you and has not been a problem for you. It hasn't, yeah, and I actually learned that you have to enjoy special teams. I learned that through college. One of my coaches told me, if you ever want to make it to the NFL, it's going to be through special teams, and that's with everybody um, who isn't a first-round draft pick. And I learned that very, very young, you know, coming out of college. And I, I'm grateful that I did. You know, you have to take it serious. You know, you have to have passion for it. And um, the, guys that have, the guys that have passion for it, they, they, they stay around a little bit longer. This Eagles team's had some great success with players on one-year contracts. What's one year mean to you, Corey? What, what is this chance for you ahead? It just means, you know, an opportunity. You know, I think this one-year deal is just an opportunity, you know, for me to uh, showcase my ability, showcase my skills, show what I'm capable of, uh, both on and off the field. And I just feel like that, that's what it's all about, you know, being able to, to seize the opportunity that I have, and now's the time for me to seize it. And you've been through all the Super Bowl. You won one in Denver. Um, we're experiencing that thrill after winning 
in February. You know, so you know what it's like. You know what this, the buzz, in this, have you felt the buzz in the building today? Oh, I felt it, yeah. yeah. I knew right away. I was like, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> and I got amped, you know, just from everybody else being so amped about it. And I know the buzz. I know the feeling, man. And it, it, it's, it's a great feeling to have. Well, let's hope you help us get back. Yes, sir. One more. Corey yeah. Nelson, thanks, man. Thank you. Good to meet you, Corey Nelson. Thank you. New Eagles linebacker, thanks for joining us.